Okay, range test is done, motor test is done. Time for a first hand toss. I was planning on landing it, but it felt pretty good. So I just hit the motor, just for a little bit. And this is the 4S850 pack. Of course, I walked into a thermal right away. And this plane definitely thermals as easy as any of the Explorers do. Kind of felt like a big hand launch. This is with the 4S with a bigger prop. This is the 16.8 prop. There's some nice aerobatics after that thermal. You can see the boom is really stiff. There's no twisting or bending. So this plane will take pretty much anything you can throw at it. Now the 16.8 prop set up with the 850 4S was a little too much prop for this setup. Um, the battery got hot, ESC got hot. Even though the acceleration was pretty phenomenal, um, this is too much for this motor setup. My runtime was rather short. I got maybe 20 seconds of motor time with that, where the 850 pack gave it up. Plus, I think the plane likes the wing loading, so I was anxious to try, you know, a bigger pack and try a 3S with a smaller prop. We'll see it coming up. I'm still moving the CG back, slowly reducing the rudder mixes. And here's with the 3S and the smaller prop. This is the 13.8 GM prop. And honestly, the acceleration was about the same. The heavier pack just gave it more ump. It let the uh, motor really spool up like it's designed to do. And I got tons of motor time, and the uh, motor and ESC were just barely warm after the first flight, you know, with a lot of motor runtime. You can see the plane throws around really nice. A few seconds of motor time, you're up. You can use that energy to do rolls and snaps and all that fun stuff. It's good thing banks and yanks like a slope racer. Quite fun. Way more fun than I expected. Just a couple of seconds of motor run. Back up, you got more altitude, burn. You can play around. You can do aerobatics to the thermal. Thermal up, aerobatics down. And it's so nimble compared to the three, eight, and four meter ships I'm used to flying usually. big flaps. Hand catching super easy with this plane. Definitely like the extra wing loading with the 2400 HV pack. You can definitely feel it. Just just more energy carry and kinetic energy. Didn't seem really hurt the thermal end. Once I got the tune a little better and got that CG back further, I gained a lot of confidence to really throw this plane around low to the ground too. CG is ending up pretty close to that 50% cord line like I thought. Snaps are pretty easy with that big rudder back there. <laughs> yeah, this plane's just way more fun than I thought it'd be. It was definitely sharpening my aerobatic skills, which had been dormant for a while. 
Kind of felt like I was back on the slope. The plane would be a blast on a slope with the uh, motor assist. We're definitely one of those alpine spots where the motor uh, allows you a pretty big safety factor. Gravity fails you, hit that switch. It's a big turn. I've got about six or seven hours on the plane now, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. The big flaps, it's just super easy to hand catch this thing. So, really a great airplane. Thanks, Soaring USA.